three, two, good afternoon everyone. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I have my little tea table set up and I got something new today. Actually I got two items but this will be the first one I'm showing. This one is a old school USB, actually that's not the old school part, it's the five pin DIN plug for MIDI which is the old school part and the uh, Native Instruments Machine Mark II has MIDI out and in as you can see there. So even though it's not USB class compliant so it won't work with the iPad here it may work using this contraption which is what we're going to test. I also have a Bluetooth one but I figured let me try this one first because if this fails there's a good chance the Bluetooth won't work either. But hey experimentation is awesome. All right I'll be right back let me set this up. Okay so we now have all the wiring hooked up we have this turned on Let's move it back a wee bit so you can see the whole thing. The iPad there, we're using uh, the uh, FM player from Audio Kit, which uh, is kind of like a, I think it's a DX7 type synth. Got the organ plant here. Just doing something simple. Let's see if we get anything. And that's a big nothing. That's not good. Shift control to put it into MIDI. And that doesn't seem to be doing anything. I guess the machine Mark II is an epic fail. So I'm not, probably not even going to bother to test it with the Bluetooth version, which is a shame. A bloody, bloody shame. So, next I'm going to grab the Akai MPD-226, which works fine with USB MIDI. But since I already have this contraption and the Bluetooth one, I might as well try it. I have a couple other pieces of equipment that use the old style MIDI DIN plugs as well. I think my Korg Electribe 2 as well. But it's really a shame. This is the piece that I really was hoping that I could snake it into working with the iPad. It would have been so nice because I love the pads on this thing. But I hate using my computer these days. I'm such a, a an iPad nerd fanboy. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes with the next trial. Okay, we've got the Hi-Fing wireless Bluetooth MIDI adapter hooked up. I tried it with the Korg, fail. But... Seems to be a little lag. It does work. I actually had to download a app called MIDI Miter or Mitter. It was M I D I M I T T R. Shut up. Uh, that's a bad pad, I guess, to do. I guess it's. Uh, doing some uh, some sustain which is causing issues says because it is sustain it seems to lag I think I'm gonna have to try the uh, the other USB adapter again the plug the one that uh, plugs in via USB instead of wirelessly 
because now that I have the MIDI Mitter or Miter box app, whatever it's called, M I D I M I T T R, it actually allowed me to connect the uh, Bluetooth adapter, which before I couldn't get it to connect. And now it's not working. So this uh, wireless, wireless MIDI Hyphing adapter is probably going to go back. I'm going to try it with a couple of other devices, but hold on a second. I'm going to try it in GarageBand. All right, and we got a drum kit set up here, and let's see if this works wirelessly. And it died again. So there's definitely some issues with this adapter. So it's probably going to go back and I will most likely just get the Yamaha one for a few bucks more. Uh, well, nothing. Nothing. Oh, even the... It works, then it doesn't work. It's a very odd thing. I don't know if it's losing its signal or what. All right. Uh, I'm not even going to bother testing any more devices with this. Well, it would appear that MIDI Mitter or MIDI Miter, as in Miter Box, which is a tool for cutting up wood usually, was the secret sauce I needed to get the... Uh, USB version of this to work. If you just noticed, the playhead just jumped back when I hit the stop button. And watch this. Pretty cool, eh? You hit it again and it jumps back to the beginning. So it would appear the USB to five pin DIN MIDI adapter is a rousing success at like nine bucks I think on Amazon or maybe it was 15 I don't actually remember I'll have to put this in the show notes anyway it works I don't know if you can actually hear this because I'm using my lavalier mic. Wow, there's a lot of sustain on this. This is MIDI Miter. Which lets it work. Let's uh, jump into... Uh, RF, oh, it didn't work, into FM player from Audio Kit 1. Turn on Bluetooth, uh, no, I don't want to. So as you can see, it works pretty bloody well. Yes, I'm just randomly. <laughs> yes, that's pretty horrible. Anyway, so. One out of two devices isn't bad. It's a shame that there's so much lag with the Hi-Fing Bluetooth adapter, but at least this wired one works well. Still couldn't get the Native Instruments Machina Mark II to work with it, which is really, really a shame, which was the whole point of me getting this, really, because obviously this thing works fine, 
as a USB compliant MIDI controller. So it really is a shame. Let's try a different. Uh, let's get that in there. Ba 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 ba. Let's throw a drum. So. That's enough of this rubbish. Anyway, have a great day. Bye for now. From the Mad Mohawk, Gwe Gwe, that's me. Onagi Wahi. Must be magic. Bye.